Hi there everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we're going to remove a bog standard wine bottle label off of our bottle and we're going to replace it with a super cute personalized wine label to give as a gift to somebody special. For this craft today, I'm going to be using matte white self-adhesive sticky paper. I've got a tape measure where I'm going to measure the front of the label. I've got a Cricut maker and I've got a standard grip mat. I'm also going to use my Cricut brayer just to make sure that the self-adhesive paper is stuck down onto the mat firmly. First thing we need to do then is we need to take the label that's on the front of the bottle and we need to measure it so we know what size to make the design for our personalised label. So if we measure this we can see that it is roughly four inches wide by three and a half inches high. I'm going to use that now as a rough size guide for the design that I'm now going to design in Design Space. We'll head over into Design Space and we'll get to creating. Now we're over in Design Space, the first thing we need to do is we need to make the shape of the label. So we're gonna head over into Shapes and I'm just going to choose the square with the curved edges because I think that's really nice. And the width of our design was four inches and we're just going to unlock the padlock now and I'm going to change the height to be 3.5 and click enter and that's now going to replace the label that's on the front of our wine bottle. I'm going to change the colour of that to be white to help us see what we're going to put on our design. For this then, I'm going to apply some text at the front. These wine bottles are great for any occasion, but for this one, I'm going to make it for a teacher gift because it's coming up to the end of the school term. At the top of the wine bottle, I'm going to type in, thank you. And I'm just going to change the font of that. So to do that, we're gonna head up to the font box. We're gonna click on the little triangle and that's going to bring us up this font box. And I'm going to choose a font that I've already purchased and is in my system. The font I'm going to use is BFC Tasty Trip. There we go. And that's going to say, thank you. So we're just going to pop that on and we're just going to shrink that down a little bit while we prepare the rest. I'm going to pop a design in the middle. So we're gonna head over to Creative Fabrica. And now we're on their site. What we're going to use is we're going to go over to the freebie section. And if you click on free graphics, it will bring you up all the graphics that are free to use. And these are free to download to use on your projects. And I think it's a really good way of getting into crafting. So I scrolled through all of those and I found a design that I like, and I came across this boho rainbow clip art. So if you click on it it now gives you a download for free option i've actually already downloaded that one and then once it's been downloaded to your pc or laptop you are then able to upload it into design space back over in design space we're just going to click on upload and as we can see i've already got one of the rainbows already selected so we're just going to click on there and then that's put a green box around it so we know that's the one it's going to use and we're going to go add to canvas. Now that's on our canvas, we're just going to, again, shrink that down just so that it fits nicely. We can play about with the sizes again in a moment. I'm now going to add some more tech. I'm going to put for helping me shine and I'm going to change the font of that one also. So I'm gonna head back over to the font box and the font I'm going to use for this is Bouncy Candle. And there we go, that's chose that one. So again, we're going to shrink that down and that's going to allow us just to place that there for now. And for the final piece of text, I'm just going to write Love Max. And again, I'm going to put a different font on this one. So I'm going to use Bright Candy. And again, we'll shrink that down. These are just fonts that I went through and I chose and I really like them. You can use any fonts of your choice that you really like using. I know a lot of crafters have their favorite fonts and now is the perfect time to be using those. So there we have our label. So now you can play around and alter the sizes accordingly so it fits nice in the space that you've got. When we've done that, as we can see now up here, it says Operation Basic Cut. We don't want it to be a cut file. At this moment, we want it to be a print and cut file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it and I'm going to flatten. And as we can see now in this side panel, once I've flattened it, it says that it's been flattened and it's changed it to a print and cut file. That is exactly what we want. Now we're ready to click on make it. 
and this is how it's going to look and this is how it's going to cut out. If your child has got multiple teachers, now would be the opportunity for you to duplicate that design and fill up your paper. I've just got to do the one. So we're now going to click on continue. It's now going to ask us to send it to our printer. I've already loaded the self-adhesive paper into the printer. So I'm going to click on send to printer. That's now going to show me the design and it's telling me the printer that it's going to set it to. I don't want to add any bleed, so I'm going to turn the bleed off and I'm going to click print and that will now print out our label. So this is what the label is looking like at the moment. We can see the registration lines that the Cricut is going to use in order to cut it out. We're just going to place that now onto our standard grip mat and I'm going to use my brayer just to make sure that it's stuck down really well because we don't want it to move during the cutting process. Now I'm just going to load that into the Cricut ready. Back in Design Space, we now just need to choose the material that we're going to be cutting. So I'm going to browse all material. I'm just going to type in here, washi, and click enter, and it says washi sheet. So we're going to click on that one and select done. And as we can see now, it's selected it here. I am going to make the pressure to be a little bit more, but I want it to only cut out the top layer and not the bottom layer. You need to use whichever setting works best for your Cricut and your material that you're using. Now we've set all the materials in pressure, we now just need to press the flashing Cricut button and start the cutting process. Now the cutting process has finished, we just need to eject our mat. To remove the label, I like to flip the mat over and remove the material from the mat. This will prevent any curling. And as we can see, if we lift it here, this is where our design has been cut out. And as we can see, it's cut through the top layer, but it hasn't cut through the bottom, which was exactly what I wanted. Next thing we need to do is we need to decide whether we're going to stick that straight over the top of our label or if we're going to remove the label that's already on the bottom. I did make a video on how to remove the label from a wine bottle that I will link down below if you are interested in taking a look at that one. Once you have decided whether you are leaving the label on or removing it, it is time to stick your new personalized label onto the front of your wine bottle. I removed the label from the front of my wine bottle purely because I didn't want you to be able to see the label underneath. But I do think it's important to leave the label on the back just so that whoever you're gifting the wine to can see all the information about the wine. Now I'm just going to peel off my personalized label that I've created and I'm going to lay down my wine bottle. I'm going to make like a taco and I'm just going to lay the label down in the middle. I'm just going to push it outwards to make it flat to avoid getting any crinkles. And there you have your personalised label on your wine bottle ready to give as a gift. I do think these are lovely at any time of the year, but especially at the moment, if you're looking for something really quick and easy to do to give as a teacher gift for the end of the school year. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Thank you. Goodbye.